So if you've been kind of following along with me here lately, I've just recently picked up this giant revolt and uh, been moving some stuff around, uh, getting it set up for me, all that good stuff. Um, I have been running on my uh, Jameis in the background there. It's on the train right now. I've been running a, a pump on it along with some CO2s uh, just as a... a, a, a a backup to the backup kind of thing um, and I went to put this on my bike when I installed the bottle cages and this doesn't fit the the mount for it does not work with how wide the frame is on this giant so what ends up happening is the the, the pump drops down just a little bit there's a uh, when this is sitting on the frame the this part of the bracket actually touches the frame and i don't like it so i was trying to find some solutions you know on the the standard down tube of my Jameis, it was just fine but on this one with it being wider it's just not working so the to the internet i went um i came across this this company called the original free range uh, they have some kind of cool stuff. I picked up a couple of things to try out. Um, one of which is this single shot bandolier um, that basically is set up to wrap around a bottle cage and it just holds the pump inside of this uh, little neoprene pouch. I'll get that set up here in a second. And then uh, you wrap around the bottle cage. So here you can see the, the single shot that I picked up uh, from Original Free Range. Um, we're going to get that pump put into this sleeve here. Um, and I also picked up a bandolier to uh, replace my super high-tech uh, Velcro strap that came from Home Depot that is holding my spare tube. And then I have a little piece of tube around that to hold my chapstick because obviously you have to have chapstick uh, when you're out on a ride. So. Um, hopefully this this has got three small little pouches in it one here a little bit larger pouch and then another small pouch over here um, <clears throat> this I, I'm not I'm not completely sold on this because of how it um, the pump touches my frame um, I don't mind this touching my frame because it's got a nice soft material. It's got a little rib in here to help keep things steady. Um, it's a very well-made product. Uh, to be honest, though, I did have to reach out to them. I could not figure out how these two clips interacted with each other. Basically, this the, the pump goes inside this sleeve, and this wraps around the bottle cage, which we'll try to mess with here in just a second. And I was trying to clip the two clips together, and that wasn't working so well. And then I tried clipping one clip onto the bungee cord. And then I was clipping the wrong one on the bungee cord. Long story short, I reached out to Original Free Range and said, hey, I'm a moron. I can't seem to figure this out. They, uh, they responded to me pretty much right away and said, no, you're not a moron. We just added this second clip on here. Um, basically, this end of the bungee cord here is supposed to go into this clip. And then the tail end whatever's left over gets clipped into this clip just to keep it nice and neat. I said, oh, okay. So I came down and messed with a little bit more um, and still not completely satisfied with it for my use. Again, I think that it's a great product. Um, it's just on a new bike, I'm just a little too nervous about it. So let's get the pump fitted up inside this sleeve and then we will wrap it around the, um, the bottle cage and see how it goes. All right, so now we just have to get the pump into the doodad here, which is a little bit easier said than done. There we go. So uh, you don't have to remove the pump from this thing to to utilize it obviously it can be used with that in place so once you get it on you're good 
Then this just gets wrapped around water bottle cage here. Now I'm gonna put this, it's gonna sit like this. I'm gonna put it on the other side just so you can see how it attaches here. So that just clips on there like so. And you just pull that tight. And use this other clip to hold the excess. That's really all there is to it. Now, as you can see, there's room here and here where it's not touching the frame. Um, I don't love the clip touches the frame. I don't know if you can see that or not. I know the lighting is not the best here in my basement, but it's too cold and too dark outside to be doing anything. Um, and plus, just with vibration on a gravel road, I, I just am nervous about this. And I know I'm being ridiculous. It's a bike, but it's a new bike for me. So I want to keep it looking good for as long as I can. And that just makes me a little nervous. So I'm not completely sold on how that works. Now, if you look at it, like I said, it's a solid product. It looks good. I just don't know if it's gonna work for me on this bike. So now let's see what we can do to get rid of this thing here. Get that guy off of there. And this has worked great. I've used this on, I've used it on my mountain bike and on my gravel bike. Very hard to do one-handed, which I'm not gonna be able to do. So we've got this thing here that they call the bandolier. This particular one, I think they call the mini or the small, but it has three separate compartments. Um, a small compartment here, a, a larger compartment in the middle, and then kind of a medium sized compartment on the other side. It's got a nice soft material here on the, on the inside. Um, and then basically naked neoprene here that goes directly against your frame to begin with, so it gives it something tacky so it doesn't slide around. So let's load it up and see how this goes. First thing I'm gonna put in there is my Crank Brothers multi-tool. Um, I'm gonna stick this guy right here in the middle. And I'm gonna stick a couple of tire levers. Put these in the medium size hole. Then I'm going to use my the small one here for some chapstick. All right, let's see if we can get all that mashed up with our tube. So I'm just going to place my tube on there. And again, I'm placing this neoprene portion against the frame of the bike. I'll do it this way just to make it a little easier. Place my tube down there. Pull this nice and tight. And that does not fit. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I can't seem to get that on there with the tube, so we're just gonna try it without the tube. Definitely fits on there better, but I'm not so sure. I don't like how much of it's touching the frame here. I definitely don't love that. So let's take this off. And let's try, let's try doing this just with the tube here. All 
All right, so now we've got just the tube. We'll put the, uh, again, that soft piece up here on the frame. See, like that, it fits about perfect. Um, I can't really fit any other tools in there. It holds nice, it looks nice. They even give you a little patch to help hold it all together. Just put over here on this other side. So all that looks nice. My chapstick won't really fit in the pockets because, I mean, it fits in there, but it's too tight. So when you pull it out, it, uh, it takes the cap off <laughs> and it'd be almost impossible to get back in there by itself. Maybe what I might do, this wouldn't be my permanent solution, but I might get a small piece of Velcro and just loop it on like that. Ooh, I don't know if that would hold it. That probably won't hold it. I could loop that all the way around. That would hold it, but it starts to defeat the purpose getting rid of this other strap gosh darn it I want to love this thing but so I thought just for the heck of it I'd bring it over here to my other gravel bike and see how this fits differently so I just Set the camera down for a second so I could work this a little bit better and was able to get this to fit on here very well with a tube on my Jameis Renegade. Um, it, yeah, I think it fits fantastic here. The If we look at the frame size difference, um, I think that's where my problem is coming in. So let's take a look at the Giant real quick. So over here where I'm trying to put that, you can see this, this part of the frame is definitely much thicker than a standard aluminum or steel framed. So I'm guessing that's kind of what my problem is. I might need the five position or the large or extra large, whatever they call it, to get it to wrap around this where I want it. I could probably get it to fit here. Maybe I'll try that right now and see how that works. So as you can see down here, it definitely fits better on the frame and I don't mind that at all. I, I, I actually kind of like it. I don't like where the position is. I just don't, this sticks out too far. I, I would not want to keep it there, but definitely my frame sizing up here is, is too wide, too tall, I guess, for that bandolier, which really kind of stinks because it's such a nice product. All right, well, I got it on there. It, it definitely took me doing a little bit more stretching to get that in there. So it is definitely pretty tightly stretched. I think that if I used their patch to help mash all that together, I don't think that's going to come off there. The sheer strength of Velcro is pretty darn high. I could maybe fit that tube in there a little bit better but I think I'm going to give this one a go I'm not I'm still not sold on the quick draw although I could probably replace the pump with just a single co2 maybe I'll throw one in there just to see what it looks like so here I replaced the pump with a 16 gram co2 with an inflator on it still I mean this is definitely gonna bug me no two ways about that but on the other side the chance of this bouncing and actually hitting my frame would be pretty small so I don't think that's gonna be an issue I just don't know that I'm sold on that clip
on my frame. Now, if I had frame protection on, and they do sell, they do sell frame protection, which I do not have on here. But if I had frame protection on, that wouldn't bother me so much. But for right now, that is what it is. So there you got it for right now. Um, the, the bandolier, I think I'm, I'm definitely keeping and uh, gonna give that a go. The quick draw, I don't know. I'll go, I'm gonna go back and forth on that a little bit and, and try to decide if I'm gonna send it back or keep it. I think more than likely that's going back. Again, it's not a knock on the product or the company. The company has been very um, uh, quick on responses to my, to my silly questions. Um, and I think the products are well made. I just think that um, it's not gonna work for me in this case. Um, the bandolier, I would not mind stepping up maybe to the next size. I think it might work a little bit better even if I didn't use all the pouches just because of the extra length needed for my, my particular frame size. But again, I think the bandolier is made really well. Um, and I, I think it's gonna, I think for what I've got it, the way I've got it set right now, it's gonna work just fine. So check them out, or original free range. Um, they also did send me this little uh, uh, silicone band that you can use for, you know, wrapping up tubes and tools and stuff to stick in one of their one of their pouches or you know a seat bag or something like that as well. Um, I've actually thought about I'm going to try to get into uh, bike packing this year and thought about putting this around my camp cup just so when my camp cup's hot. That part's not touching my lip, so I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's just a thought I had. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking it out. If you've got questions, let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Stay safe, be nice to one another, and we'll catch you soon. Later.